If you've never set up a website before, it can be a bit daunting, <laughs> not just the actual doing part, but all the terminology and technical requirements you need to wrap your brain around. If you hear people throw around words like, you know, web host and domain, or they ask what website platform you plan to use, you may already be wondering how you're going to navigate through all of this web lingo. So I made this video to explain all these things in a clear and simple way for you and make it easy for you to remember what's what and to understand what you need to do to get a website set up for your handmade business if that's something that you'd like to do. We'll cover five things you need to build your website in the first place, plus two things you'll need immediately after you build your website. And finally, where to get it all from and how much it would cost, including understanding the key differences, for example, between Shopify and Squarespace or WordPress. Ready? Let's dive in. Bonjour, my name is Deb and I'm the founder of Tizit.co, a membership community for makers and handmade shop owners just like your fabulous self. You can learn more about our community Tizit HQ via the link below this video. But for now, let's jump straight into today's conversation about setting up a website to sell your handmade products. When you go to set up a website, there are five things you need to make it happen. When I talk to members of our community TZHQ and teach them how to build their website, I tell them it's a lot like building a house. When you build a house, you have to do things in a certain order, right? You have to find the land, buy it, and then build some house foundation on it, etc., etc. And you complete each step before you can move to the next one. Building a website is very much the same. So let's walk through the process together. Many of you may have heard terms like domain and host before, but you might not really know what those words actually really mean. <laughs> they are actually quite easy to understand when you think of them in terms of building a house. The first thing you need is a domain. A domain is like the plot of land you buy to build your house on. It is your house's street address. For example, tizit.co is my domain, my business address on the internet. Next, you will find and sign up for a web host and the web host will provide you with two things, hosting and an SSL certificate. That certificate is a bit of code that provides security for online communication, kind of like sealing a letter in an envelope before sending it through the mail. It ensures that when people use their credit card on your site, it's all encrypted, it's all safe and secure. Think of your hosting as your house's foundation. It's really making sure that it's structurally sound and safe to live in. Now onto number three, you need to choose a website platform. The platform contains all you need to start your website, the basics needed to get your website functioning. So in a house analogy, think of the platform as having the basic kind of framework for your house. You've got walls, you've got the roof, the plumbing, just the basics. Your house isn't decorated yet, but it's functional. It has the basics you need to live in there. You know, it will keep the rain out. It has running water, the very bare necessities. Now you're ready for number four, which is your theme. This is what gives your website a certain feel and gives it character. Your theme combines different colors and fonts and pictures and layouts to give your website just the look that you're after. Think of all the decor detail that make your house look nice. Choosing the furniture, the wallpaper, the paint, all those things that make your house feel like a home. This is what your theme is. Finally, you will want to get any plugins, sometimes called apps, that you want to use on your website. Each plugin adds a certain function to your website. Perhaps it's a contact form or a pop-up or social media buttons that are linking to your social media pages. There are infinite choices here, just like they are when you build a house. You can add pool, you can add air conditioning, a fireplace, a patio. You choose which things are important to you. Now, once you have completed this first five steps, congrats, you have set up your website. You're not quite done yet though. There are two more very important things that you need to set up for your new website insurance and maintenance. Once your house is built, you need to protect it from fire, flooding, or you know weather damage. And so you insure it, right? And of course, you will perform regular maintenance on your house to keep it in tip-top shape. The same applies to your website. So how are you going to do that? That's the two things you'll need to do immediately after you build your website. We've all experienced that moment when a file that was very important to us was damaged or corrupted or deleted. It's awful. I poured hot coffee on my laptop a couple of years ago and I can tell you I was not a happy bunny. I was thankfully able to recover my files, but you know, can you imagine losing your whole website? 
not fun, which is why you need, just like for a house, to have what I like to think of as an insurance policy. Now, what's an insurance policy for a website? It's really a backup system that regularly back up your website files and does it automatically so you don't have to do it manually or ever think about it at all so that if anything ever happens you have the copies of all of your files so that you can recover your website with the click of a button you will also want to be sure that you do regular maintenance on your website or that you hire someone to do it for you maintenance is essentially doing updates to the software so the platform and plugins making sure that everything is up to date so your website runs smoothly now you might wonder where do I get all these things, Deb? <laughs> and where you get all the items we've just talked about really depends on if you choose a hosted or self-hosted website. A hosted website is an all-in-one option that takes care of all the seven items that you need to create and maintain a website. This is like your Squarespace or your Shopify. All of the seven items we covered in this video, they offer to you in one package, right? All under one roof. They will give you a domain, provide you hosting and SSL certificate. There will be your website builder. They will have free themes for you and apps or plugins that come with your monthly subscription. And they also have premium ones that you can pay more of if you want, but there are plenty of free ones to get you started. So you really don't need to spend beyond your monthly subscription if you don't want to. They also will take care of backups and do maintenance website for you. So things like the software update, for example. So that insurance policy and that maintenance plan that we talked about are included. You pay one monthly fee, which covers all of this, except for any premium themes or plugins if you do decide to add them. And so obviously this is the easiest, least complicated option. But if you like to have more control over your website, some people prefer the self-hosted option. So when you choose the self-hosted option, you're in charge of your design and you choose where you get all of the seven components from. Some people choose this option to try and save some money. Although if you aren't careful though, you may end up spending almost as much as a hosted website. So it's important that you add up all your individual costs before doing it for this reason. So with the self-hosted option, you will first need to get a domain, hosting, and SSL certificate. If you get them separately, you would typically buy your domain from a domain registry company and then your hosting and SSL from a hosting company. But what I actually recommend is that you find a hosting company that offers all three, a package that gives you a domain, hosting, and SSL at once. Many times these companies will also do automatic backups for you as well, which is great. Once you have that, you then need to decide which website platform you're going to use. The majority of people use a platform called WordPress, which is also my recommendation because 99% of any hosting companies out there will have a one-click install button to install WordPress on your own domain. So that's going to make it really easy to do. All you're doing is clicking a button and then you will have installed WordPress on your domain and be ready to build your website. Now, a quick note here, WordPress actually doesn't come with an e-commerce system built in, but that's not going to be a problem because you'll be able to get that for free as well. And I'll tell you how in a second. Once you have WordPress installed, you then need to pick your theme from the WordPress collection. They have many, many, many free themes if you're on a budget, and they also have some premium ones that you can choose from that cost a bit more. Then it's time to choose your plugins. They are endless amounts of plugins out there for WordPress that will do this or that for your website. Down the road, you may decide to add some to give your website a certain feature that you want, but to start with, you don't really need any plugin except the one and only WooCommerce plugin that will turn your website into an e-commerce store and it's completely free. So that will be the one you want to download and install right away. Backups will be covered with your hosting company most of the time, but maintenance and updates are your responsibility when you have a self-hosted website. If your software has a bug causing problems or if they upgrade it to work better, the update is what makes the changes. So you need to be sure to update the software and plugins that you have installed whenever a new update is released. And it's important to do that to make sure that your website runs smoothly. Now, I know that deciding on hosted versus self-hosted is a big decision. So I made a list of questions to ask yourself that will help you decide which is the right choice for your business. And we're also going to talk about cost. The first question is, how much flexibility do you want in the design, features, and customization of your website? Self-hosted websites like WordPress with WooCommerce install give you 100% freedom. 
But with that said, platforms like Shopify these days, which would be my recommendation if you decide to go with a hosted platform route, have more features than you'd probably ever need. So that is a pretty even field here. Next is, do you prefer to have a maintenance person to handle website issues? Or are you more of a DIY person? That feels pretty good handling your own website maintenance. This is a personal decision. You just need to decide what's best for you. If you don't feel comfortable performing site maintenance, then a hosted website may be a better option. Finally, what are you ready and willing to spend? Shopify pricing at the time of this recording starts at 29 a month, 79 a month for the standard and 2.99 a month for the advanced plan. You're going to choose based on the feature you need. Likely it's going to be the 29 or 79 dollar a month plan for you. What price pricing really depends on what you decide to get and where you get it from. So let's break that down. I always recommend SiteGround, not sponsored, <laughs> for domain hosting and SSL. I've worked with dozens of similar hosting companies in the past and SiteGround has always been the winner in my eyes. They have great entry packages. They have a great support team if you have any issues or need help, which is super important. And they also have the capability to scale up to bigger plans when you start getting more visitors to your shop. Now, at the time of this recording, it starts at $5 a month initially. Be careful though, the first year is always cheaper. You can take advantage of these cheaper initial rates by signing up for three years right from the get-go. If you sign up for one year at the intro rate of $5 a month, consecutive years will jump to the regular rates which starts at $15 a month. So if you sign up for three years, you get to take advantage of that cheap introductory price for three years before your prices go up to standard rates. And by then, no doubt, your sales will be, you know, able to more than cover the cost of your plan. WordPress is free, so this won't add anything to your cost. For themes, I do recommend you go with a paid premium theme if you can. My two favorites are Divi and Elementor Builder, which respectively cost $89 a year and I think starting at $49 a year at the time of this recording. The only plugin I recommend when you're first starting out is WooCommerce and that is completely free. Finally, maintenance and updates. You can do both of those yourself to save money, but it's definitely not as nice as not having to think about it and having someone else do it for you. If you use SiteGround as your hosting company, they do automatic backups for you, so you don't need to pay extra or worry about that. Most hosting companies actually offer free backup these days, so just make sure that yours do too. Now, you'll want to write down the cost for each option you choose and compare this monthly total to the self-hosted option. Are you saving enough money to make it worth the extra work and responsibility? There's no wrong or right answer here. This is a personal choice. If you're feeling a little overwhelmed by all of this or all the parts of setting up and running your handmade shop, I know it can be a lot. My absolute best recommendation is to check out all the information and support that is waiting for you over at tizit.co. We have all the courses you need to walk you through setting up and running a handmade shop plus supportive coaching calls with myself and accountability that help you keep you on track. So if you feel that you benefit from more support and guidance as you navigate all the ups and downs of running your handmade business, come and join us over at TZHQ and let us help you get your business off the ground or take it to the next level. I'll put the link to that just below so you can learn more and join us. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the link below and until next time, au revoir.